morning okay so i'm still at the hotel <laughs> i slept in a little bit i just got breakfast it's pretty gray outside still so so can you see it okay so i don't know if, by the way i have on lipstick and no other makeup because i was taking pictures for the hotel for um instagram and stuff so i don't know if we're gonna venture out too far today i do really want to get some writing done and then like sit and actually plan the next three days of my trip because i have like two full days of uh just kind of palling around and shooting and seeing friends so that's what we're gonna do and i just got my breakfast so let me let me do this better than that so I got a smoked salmon bagel, no, half bagel, no, on bread, <laughs> smoked salmon on pumpernickel with dill cream cheese. I love any variation of like a smoked salmon bagel sandwich. It makes me so happy. That's all my favorite elements, salmon, all the cheese and tons of bread. <laughs> and then I got an acai bowl. So I think it's granola, raspberry, strawberry, blueberry, bananas. So I am going to tear this up. I didn't really eat yesterday because I just flopped in the bed because I was so tired. I just want to say I massively underestimated how big this sandwich is. Why I ordered two things. I was so hungry. Look at all this cream cheese. Look at it. This thing is huge. I've literally been eating this for like 20 minutes. Anyway, it's so delicious. Salmon, cream cheese, pumpernickel. Best combination of my life. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll be eating this till tomorrow. Hi, it's voiceover Mickey. So this is the lobby at the Langham. I, sometimes I just forget to talk when I'm vlogging, but also there's a lot of people checking in. So I didn't want to be that obvious, but I thought it was really pretty. I love the grays. I love all the like overstuffed pillows and the sofa. This huge thing that looks like a uvula. <laughs> this little kid came in and like pushed it and started swinging all over the place. It was low-key kind of scary. But yeah, I love the grays. I love the velvet. So I just wanted to show it to you. I think it's really beautiful. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me because um, I forgot how loud New York is <laughs> somehow. I lived here for like a year, but I forgot how loud it is. Anyway, so we are at Fifth Avenue. The hotel is down that away. I decided I wanted to walk up to Saks, and on the way, we pass the New York Public Library, which is very iconic. You see the lions. If you're a fan of Sex in the City, this is where um, Dick and Carrie are supposed to get married in the... Vivian Westwood dress and then of course he messes all that up because you know <laughs> men no I'm just kidding am I but anyway so this is the public library it's very famous so yeah I'm just gonna kind of show you landmarks as I go but the more you walk up Fifth Ave from Midtown where I'm staying the more it starts to look like Fifth Ave you know what I mean so we'll just walk it like we did in New Orleans and come along with me so there's more so the library is like gigantic this is actually kind of my favorite view, like coming from this side. I just think it's so beautiful. All right, let's keep walking. Okay, so I haven't been to New York in like a year and a half. So I could be wrong about some of this, but I'm pretty sure that is the Chrysler building. And then I wanted to show you if we could find a sign. Where is it? Um, you see it's East 42nd Street, like very famous 42nd Street. And then if you look over on this side, it's West. So Fifth Avenue is like the divider between the West side of Manhattan and the East side. Anyway, fun fact, we're gonna keep going. Okay, do we see the building? Wow, my voice. Do we see the building with all the 800 American flags? That is Saks Fifth Avenue. That is the one and only original Saks. We're gonna go shopping in there. Then next door is the cathedral, St. Patrick's Cathedral, I believe. I don't know why I'm saying I believe. I used to go to church there. <laughs> Sometimes I can't remember the names. So I'll show you some of that too. And we're really close to Rockefeller Center as well. So I'll show you some of that. I feel so silly saying all of this stuff. Because I know I'm right, because I used to live here, but this is Rockefeller Center. I did have to go and just double check real quick. <laughs> but you can see, here's the actual plaque for it. Like, I know it's St. Patrick's, I know it's Rockefeller Center, I know it's Saks, but I just can't, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I know you're all watching this, like, show me where to go in New York. So that is Rockefeller. Um, we'll go a little further so you can see where they do the ice skating. Hi, voiceover Mickey. I just wanted to take a moment to point out my stellar camera work here where I don't shoot anything straight on and you can't see any of the shops I'm walking by. You're welcome. I guess they're doing some construction on it. But yeah, if it was winter time and there wasn't uh, construction going on, <laughs> we hit both of those things. Uh, this is where the ice skating is down here. And then you can see like the iconic statue of, I don't know, I want to say Cupid, I don't know. <laughs> and then you can actually see the building that is 30 Rock. 
as in the famous show and SNL and all those things. So yeah. And it's all within 10 blocks of the Langham. I just really walked up here and those are the flags and are pretty iconic. Every kind of view, if you go on the other side of Rockefeller, I say that's so weird. Rockefeller Center is pretty iconic. So it has the flags, the statue, ice skating, if it was going on. Actually, is it all year? It might be. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> the building, obviously again and the flags on the other side. So it's pretty iconic. But yeah, we're gonna walk back up the promenade now and go to St. Patrick's and then I'll show you Saks. <laughs> Every video I'm trying to shoot, a bus comes on, but you know what, it's New York. So um, this is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's very beautiful, I'll take you around to the front. I do wanna say that me showing you cathedrals and churches on the vlogs is not an endorsement of the Catholic Church. I'm merely just showing you landmarks and these are like a really famous one. When I did live here, I would go to church with my mom when she would come visit here. We went to Easter Mass here once. So yeah, it's beautiful. It's really lovely. So we'll go around to the front. Okay, so here is the front of the church. Cathedral, rather. It is It is very beautiful. And it's pretty cool to just see it in the middle of like a cityscape. Um, but also, I turned the corner to come over here and I totally forgot about this guy. So we don't fall on the street. That's probably the more like iconic uh, statue of 30 Rock. And then there we go. So I'm sure you've seen this. If you, 30 Rock, did I say 30 Rock or Rockefeller Center? <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this if you watch the show. But yeah, isn't that cool? All right, so now we're actually gonna go to Saks. in like 200 years. <laughs> it looks so good. They changed a lot of it. Um, but I just thought the escalators looked really cool. So we're gonna go up and look for some clothes. Okay, I went through all the levels and I can't find the brand I'm looking for, but I did find this jacket and I'm kind of obsessed with it. I don't know, I really like it. And I like this one as well. I don't actually know this brand. I think it's Libertine? I don't really know them, but this, these jackets are very like Gautier in the 80s. I really like them. I don't know, when I put this vlog up, vote and tell me if you like these. So I'm just walking back down. I'm gonna go to Chanel and look for a wallet, but there is the Louis Vuitton store. This is all like clothing. Uh, this is Gucci. This is Dior, which I don't like the book tent normally, but then I saw that one and I love it, so I don't know. <laughs> Okay. This is all Gucci. That's Prada. I actually think these room dividers may be for sale because I saw them on the Gucci website and I'm obsessed with them. And I actually wrote it's my book about them because I love them so much. So yeah, if you think I should get a Gucci room divider, let me know. Chanel is over here. And then this is Dries, who is a Belgium designer. I'm pretty sure. Belgium? <laughs> Belgian. <laughs> Um, I used to really be into his stuff. It's like a little more avant-garde. And so we're gonna go, Fendi is gonna be over there. So yeah, we're gonna go back downstairs and go to Chanel. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me too. Sorry, I have put my mask on because I'm indoors. Um, so we're coming back down. There's MCM, shout out Christian. There's Givenchy. And we're gonna head back over to Chanel, which is that way. Here's McQueen. We stand McQueen always. He was a genius. I love this little McQueen bag. I think that's so cool kind of like London punk scene. I always regret not getting one of those like knuckle bags. Oh, wait, <laughs> there it is. I always kind of regret getting one of those, but we're, we're shopping for Chanel today. And I just wanted to point out Aliyah. This is what Cher has on in Clueless when she's like, but this isn't Aliyah. And the guy goes into what a, it's a real brand. <laughs> As a Dean Aliyah. I'm not even gonna go in, but here's Louis Vuitton. <laughs> And here's Saint Laurent, like my two favorites back to back. I'm not, I'm not even gonna look at those two, but I might. I want every single thing in here. It's, everything is so amazing. I already brought something, bought something that I just wanted to show you. Everything else, I'm gonna come back and buy. This is the most incredible bag I've ever seen. So, you know, stay tuned for that one. But yeah, I'm gonna show you, I do a little unboxing and show you what I got. Okay. 
Okay, we did it, Joe. I almost bought a bag, so I had to leave immediately. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to the hotel. And we are gonna do an unboxing of my little Chanel so-and-so. Stay tuned, my loves. All right, we're back on the street. Let's go. Okay, so we're just headed back down fifth. Um, <laughs> my fingers are all up in that. If you can see in the foggy distance, that's the top of the Empire State Building. Um, I think it's about, oh gosh, 34th Street maybe. So if I keep heading down fifth, I'll get there. But yeah, that's, I don't even know if you can see it. I just wanted to point it out. Okay, so I'm about to take a bath uh, for relaxation reasons, but also I need to shoot in here. So I'm gonna try to, <laughs> this is my very like sad attempt at bubbles. All they have is a little bottom. Uh, body wash. I should have bought some bubbles like at the CVS or whatever, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna take my picture in here and then take a proper bath. I can't figure out how to close these, so I'm just gonna face this one and decide it. <laughs> so I don't shock all of New York City yet um, until my book comes out, and then obviously it'll be the talk of the town. But yeah, thank you so much for joining me on day two of our New York adventure. We'll be moving hotels tomorrow, we'll be doing Soho tomorrow, I think. So uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, come back. I don't know, <laughs> just like, <laughs> it's cause I'm here and you jump in the so I can't show you me. But I will see you next time, hopefully. Please come back and watch more vlogs. And thank you so much for joining me. Mwah. Goodbye.